I just met the bitch, so I had to run my nip to get a chance. Mmm. Old school intro for the win. Love that intro. Sounds so sexy. Love that song. If you don't listen to RBL Posse, then you best start listening to RBL Posse, cause they're they are legit. Domination. And that's that's the artist for that song. And um I'm probably not gonna talk about the gameplay too much right now because I'm watching it through Sony Vegas and it's kinda lagging right now. So I will talk about I don't know. Oh, I would talk about Dominic. Oh, right there. I know what I did right there. I killed myself because I was trying to give Fruit Booter, my friend right here, Fruit Booter 16. I was trying to give him the Scar Extended Max because he's never used it before. So I AT forward myself, but then I realized that I'm not holding my primary, so he wouldn't be able to pick it up. So I was like, God damn it. Then I had to use a Semtex so I'd hold my primary while I killed myself. So he could pick it up. But, um, yeah, because he's new to Call of Duty. But he's cool. He's a raw ass Gears of War player. So, so he knows the ins and outs of the game and how the game. But um, uh, yeah, I was just trying to let him experience the sexiness of a fall extended mag scar, which is pretty good. And this game, the other team were. I feel like I was playing some PS3 or some shit. Cause if you guys didn't know, PS3 players suck compared to the Xbox Live community and you can say oh it's the same, oh it's the same all you want because you have a PS3 and you're sad that it's not <clears throat> that the competition's so much harder on Xbox but uh, I've I've played PS3 multiple times at my friend's house and it's just some like I'm, I'm not even used to controller <clears throat> I'm not even used to controller and I'm playing on a different setup, and if you guys ever played on someone else's setup, you know it's kind of difficult or whatever, like, you're just not used to it. So, you know, it's like playing on a different setup, and using a different controller I'm not used to, and I still can work these fools harder than I can destroy anyone on, on an Xbox. Like, the first domination game I went into, so first game of the day, which there's a disadvantage, different controller there's a disadvantage and then different TV which really sucked at my friend's house was a disadvantage and I went 50 and 10 and I don't go 50 and 10 often in my video like in domination if you guys notice my videos I usually stay around 40s I stay in the 40s and my death stay around the 10-ish areas for like good games but most of my games are around 30 to 40 kills and around like I don't know, 15, 25 deaths, I guess. So I'm usually like positive two. My ratio is definitely not positive two, just because the amount of dicking around I do in this video game. But um, but yeah, so that's how about how good I do normally in Xbox. But oh my god, just playing on PS3, that shit's a breeze. And if you don't believe me, I'm gonna get a PS3 pretty soon. My, I mean, actually, my little brother's gonna get it. Um, I'm not watching the gameplay. I mean, I'm not really watching the game, but I'm listening to it. And I sound like I'm killing a shitload of people really quickly. Am I? I'll find out later. Um, but yeah, I'll put out some PS3. I'll probably record on the PS3 a little bit, and I'll do some side-by-side -side comparison on how I'll do like ten different lobbies on PS3, ten different lobbies on the Xbox overall scores stuff like that just evaluating the the kind of gameplay or the kind of um, skill level you see from PS3 players towards Xbox Live players and I'm not saying that there's everyone on PS3 sucks I'm just saying the amount of people who do suck are very high on PS3 and I guess it's it's about like there's like half as like as many good people there are on Xbox. It seems like there is maybe two shitty people, and then like the amount of good people on for like every one person on Xbox who's good, there's like two shitty people, and then on PS3 it feels like there's like one good person, like four or five shitty ass people. And um, if you watch some gameplay for some other commentators that play PS3, you'll see like who they're going up against. They're doing some crazy shit, but you watch their, like, the people they're playing against. They don't, they don't seem too clueless, right? Like, 
they'll probably be playing like these guys right here. These guys, I don't even think one of them breaks 10 kills because they suck so bad on this team. And like earlier, I got a double spray over by A in domination at A, and um, one of the guys was just looking at me. And that's the kind of shit that I see a lot on the PS3. Not to bash on PS3 players saying that you guys are bad. I'm just saying you got a lot of shitty people on your PSN network. That's all I gotta say. I just, mmm. I can't wait to get that PS3 in so I can start playing out some crazy ass gameplays for you guys. <laughs> Cause I don't think you're really gonna care if the competition's good or bad. You just wanna see high scores, right? Yep, I thought so. <clears throat> this is a pretty short game right here because we dominate them. We dominate them pretty hardly because, or pretty hardly. Wow, we dominate them pretty, pretty badly. I guess I don't know how to fucking word that sentence, but we we dominate them. And uh, um, not dominate them as in the sense of having all three flags, which we do at most points. But I mean dominate them as in just destroy, destroy their buttholes, ram that shit in. But uh. Yeah, these these guys get a uh, working of their lifetime, and I get a pretty good kill death ratio in this game, but that's not that important. Just because the people I was playing against, like it it wasn't that impressive to me at all. Because I feel like I could have even done better against the fucking the biggest noobs in the world, and also my. When I talk about my kill death ratio, this gameplay, um, oh yeah, a lot of people don't care about spoiling their scores, like the, on YouTube, they're like, I don't want to tell you the score until the end, blah, blah, but, you know, I don't really care, you guys probably don't care if I tell you the score right now or if you wait till the end. I think I get 41 and 7, yeah, I'm pretty sure I get 41 and 7, but two of the deaths I do get are from me killing myself in the beginning, so you have to remember, it's like 41 and 5. So, um, yeah, that's pretty decent. That's like an 8. That's like an 8 KD ratio, I think, if my math's not right. If my, if my math is right, I mean, which I hope it is. I get like 3 payloads and like 3 or 4 attack helicopters. This game was just a breeze. And then also, here, just look at these guys' scores. It's embarrassing on their part. Like, just look at mine. I got the 41-7. My team did decently. You know, it's all good. My accolades. Um, killed the entire enemy team without dying. Most kills, longest kill streak, highest KD ratio. But uh, here's the good stuff. Look at their scores. Look at the other team's scores. I'm pretty sure that some people backed out on that team, but whew, the people who stayed in, embarrassing. Embarrassing. 